ACA, you're like, I didn't come to this Medicare seminar to learn about ACA. And I'm gonna convince you to do ACA. If I don't convince you to do ACA, just, I want you to tell me, because I need to work on my presentation. Okay, I, I got skills, okay? So if you're not convinced to do this, um, me and you are gonna have a problem. Okay, and I want, I want to know how to fix it. Okay, so can you do ACA? Can you do Medicare? Can you do FE? Guys, all of us have the capability of doing this. You're gonna wear that hat depending on the customer you're talking to. Okay, it's doable. If you're doing Medicare, this is a piece of cake. If you're doing this and you wanna to switch to Medicare, it's a piece of cake, all right? It's health insurance. It's super easy to do. Now, uh, I've, all during lunch I got asked about contracting and I forgot to mention this. If you want a contract for this, you're gonna go through David. I don't contract people, guys. All right, I'm the trainer, I'm at the corporate side. Get with David, he'll send you contracting for whatever you need. You still get me, all right? You still get the training, you get everything that we provide. You don't get anything better or worse because you've gone through David. So make sure you hit him up for that. So does anybody know what ACA stands for? Affordable Care Act. Who knows, who uses the words ACA in, out there? Agents. Agents, we use ACA, we talk about the Affordable Care Act, but what, do, what does the public call ACA? Obamacare. Obamacare, what else? Biden care. Biden care. And then? Trump care. All right, yeah, baby. <laughs> All right, well, oh, there's my little thing. Yeah, I'm back. <laughs> All right, come on. There we go. All right, so ACA, guys. Now, has anybody seen an ACA card? All right, never. ACA is a law. It's a law of the land, guys. It, it got dismantled a little bit. Trump dismantled a portion of it, but it's still a law. Okay, you're going to have to, we all have to deal with it, okay? If it's not ACA, it's really not a health insurance plan. It's something else, and I'll get into that in a minute. But ACA is for people that are under 65 normally. You can ACA of somebody who's over 65. Or am I losing it? Anybody know? You can. How? If they don't have Medicare. All right, so there it is. So we all know it. When I advertise, I advertise Obamacare. I don't advertise ACA. I'm not gonna get any traction with ACA. Now, if I'm trying to recruit agents or bring them in, whatever, ACA, but the consumer is Obamacare. I would not throw out Trump care. I would not throw out Biden care, okay? Nothing has stuck like Obamacare, okay? That's what it is. Okay, why you should be selling plants. Why, why, why should we, guys? Anybody want to guess? There's two reasons. What? You're, you're nuts, man. Man, free market to Medicare. <laughs> oh, pre? Okay, no, I knew what you were talking about. All right, you stole my thunder. But, okay, well, the money. We're going to talk, the first thing is the money. Okay, they're future Medicare people. And guess what? There's no other option for, for our consumers. This is it, guys. I mean, we got a captive audience. You either sell them, they either have a plan at work, or you sell them Obamacare, that's it. Or they have no insurance. Yes, there are some alternatives, but ultimately, guys, this is it. All right, Here's another, here are some of the other reasons, okay? I used to, well, I'll tell you what I did. First of all, before I do that, ACA plants are so easy to quote. I used to tell my buddies in the business, don't do it. It's way too hard to quote. God, it's impossible. You gotta go to multiple places to get quotes. It's impossible. Here's the other deal. What do I have on there? It's easy to enroll. Guess what I would tell my buddies? It's so damn hard. The sites go down all the time, and they used to. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's too hard to enroll. Send them to me. 
<laughs> All right. ACA plans pay well. <laughs> they suck. They don't pay anything. They're terrible. You know what? Send them to me and I'll just give you 50 bucks, man. I'll help you out. All right, so send me all your ACA people. I'm gonna give you a referral of 50 bucks. Hey, consider yourself lucky. Don't ask me for anything more than 50 bucks. All right, so why sell it? Because they pay well. ACA pays as earned. I love as earned money. I already told you guys, it's real money that you can spend. Those chargebacks that these two guys over here were talking about, you'll never run into this in the ACA world. No chargebacks. All right, spend that money when you get it. Guess what? Are there any bonuses with Medicare? Yep. With Medicare? No. no. Not with Medicare, but we got some crazy bonuses. All right, here's my story on bonuses. So guys, listen up. Don't ever tell your wife that you're gonna get a bonus. <laughs> I screwed up. I was so excited about what one of my bonuses was gonna be that uh, the forerunner that we've had for years, which is very, very good, lifted up, good wheels, they, all of a sudden, it started having problems. The check engine light went on. I don't know how my wife made that happen, but it was not on when I told before the bonus. The tires sucked, the wheels started, all these problems. I, I have a feeling that she sabotaged the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, the forerunner because I told her what my bonus was gonna be with one carrier. So guess what she brought home the next day? A Cadillac Escalade 2022 120K. Look what I got, baby. I'm like, what in the world are you doing with this thing? They let you take that off a lot? I'm like, hey, your bonus is gonna pay for it. I'm like, That's, I haven't even got the bonus yet. He goes, but you will. I screwed up. Uh-huh, damn women. Damn you women. They were my bonus, she took it. She took it. So the bonuses are crazy, guys. Crazy with, with Obamacare. I'll, I'll show you, I'll share with you the bonuses here in a minute. So, so guys, don't tell your wife about the bonuses. Keep it hidden. All right, what else? Prospects are everywhere. Everybody, if they're, if they're not Medicare, they're, they're prospects. Okay, they are everywhere. Everybody here is potentially eligible for Obamacare. The certification. Now, I, I told you guys about Medicare. You have to do AHIP. You have to do carrier certifications. With Obamacare, one certification, okay? The initial would take you an hour maybe. The renewal took me 10 minutes. 10 minute certification and you're done for the whole year, okay? And it's free. AHIP, you have to pay 125 bucks. It's normally 175 hit David up for the, the, 50, the $50 discount. All right, let's start, look, look at this quote screen, guys. First of all, when you, when you partner with us, we're gonna give you the software. Okay, it's a website where you can go run quotes. So this is what the quote screen looks like. I, there's three sections to it. Section number one, I enter who wants coverage. Section number two, I put their income. Section number three, the results of what I put in here. Section three tells me what savings they're gonna get, and it also tells me if they're gonna get any CSRs. It's a badge. CSRs are cost sharing reductions. Something's gonna happen, it's like LIS. When, so when a senior gets LIS, what happens to their prescriptions? They get, they get reduced, they look they, great. When, when, it, when an under 65 gets that badge, the benefits get rich. Okay, I do that, and then this is what happens. I get all my plans from the least expensive all the way down to the most expensive. So easy to quote. Okay, and you'll see here, I got two plans here. For this scenario that I showed, I got two $0 plans and I've got a couple with premiums. All I have to do is hit add to cart, enroll, and in five minutes I'm done. I can do an enrollment in 10 minutes and that's me being slow. Isn't there an open enrollment period? There's always an open enrollment period. You gotta know how to play the game. Did I say game? I said game. How to play the, the <laughs> Yeah, I screw up every now and then. How to play the game, yes. So there is an open enrollment. I'll get to that here in a minute. Yes? So if you haven't done the initial uh, one hour uh, certification process, when does that start again? Or it opened up 
uh, a, a week or two ago. Okay. So you can go get certified now. It closed for 2022 on July 15th. Okay. And about a week or two ago, it just opened up for 2023. Okay. All right, okay. this quoting tool, you don't have to pay for. It's there for you. All right, this is what, uh, let's talk about some money, guys. Can you make, I have a YouTube, that thing doesn't work, guys. I didn't realize that these QR codes, they, they, they quit working after a month. So, but if you go to my YouTube, I, I create, it's so easy to make 100K in 60 days. Well, it's 45 days. They've extended the enrollment period. I am not kidding, guys. It is so damn easy. Okay, so I'm going to show you the money potential. It starts November the 1st, and it ends January the 15th. Now, what kind of president do we have right now, politically? A Democrat, right? All right. Obamacare is what kind of product? Okay. All right. So guess what? They're making the, 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 the uh, enrollments to get in. Huh. You can squeeze, you can get anybody in any time of the year. You just got to know how to play the game right. So right now, they've created a low-income SEP. So if somebody has low income, you can get them in year-round. It's like a duel. They just created that. Okay? There's also some other tricks I'll share with you in a little while to get them in. All right. Um, but it's, it's almost pretty much year-round enrollment. So this act that just passed, the Inflation Reduction Act, here's what happened. When COVID hit, the American Rescue Plan came in. What happened there is they made these subsidies, those, those, that third column, those extra numbers, they made them richer. They were supposed to go away this year. Does anybody know how far they got extended with this Inflation Reduction Act? Three more years. What does that mean? We got three years to build an incredible book of business and build a huge nest egg. Three years it got extended. Why? Democratic product, Democratic administration okay no Trump tried to dismantle this and he didn't some of y'all are thinking well what if it goes away who cares yeah. if it goes away well it, if he couldn't do it if Trump couldn't get rid of it I don't think anybody else can all right but if it does happen to go away it'll go away to something else that we can sell so we'll just roll with it all right does anybody know how much ACA pays per enrollment 42 ahead. 42. I want to go where you live. 42 ahead. <laughs> I know, 22 ahead. It varies, guys, but I'm going to do simple math. Different carriers, different areas pay different amounts. But on average, yes, 22 is right. I'm going to go with just 20 bucks just to keep my math simple. You're like, that's not a lot of money. 20 bucks? First of all, I already told you guys, it pays as earned. Okay, it pays. Does anybody know what PM, PM stands for? Not you, Matt. Per what? Per month, per member. They pay per head, guys. Okay, so you enroll a mom and a dad and two kids. How many members? Four. Four. $20 a head, how much do you make? Times 12? You just made $1,000 on one cell. How long does it take you to do mom, dad, two kids? 12 minutes. 12 minutes to make a grand. Matt, I'm sure you're just not doing that, right? Are you a one-man show? Yeah. One, yeah. You don't do anything else besides that? Besides ACA. Besides the ACA when you're talking to that customer? Oh yeah, I do other stuff. Like? Life insurance, indemnity, all that. Toothbrush? What, glasses? Vision? Hearing? Yeah. <laughs> yes, all of it. They're easy to sell. Dental and vision. Okay, there's a lot of opportunity to make money, guys. All right, so let's do some quick math. All right, so here we go. You write mom, dad, and two, three kids, you're making $100 a month, 1200 a year. You write mom and dad, they don't have any kids, $500 a year. All right, I, my agency, in 45 days, we average between five to 700 enrollments I've never counted the heads but we're probably at a thousand heads do some math I have between 500 
to 700 enrollments. So a lot of them are singles, but I'll have mom and dads, I'll have families. So I'm probably at about a thousand heads every enrollment season. 45 days. Oh yeah. Referrals or leads? Like Both. Okay. In my PNC book, I have Obamacare signs all over my office. I'll show you what I do. I don't, in 45 days guys, I tell my wife and my kids, I am dead to y'all. Don't call me, don't expect me to do anything. My kids are playing, I don't do anything in those 45 days, okay? I have a motorhome, I have a little bus. It's parked at my office. Sometimes I don't make it home because I'm working late. I don't have enough time to do all the enrollments. I work till 11, 12 o'clock at night. I just go straight to my little bus, fire that sucker up and I'll take a shower. I mean, it's self-contained, it's beautiful. Okay, and then at seven o'clock, it's 45 days, it's a sprint. It's not a marathon, it's a sprint. All right. All right, so again, 20 bucks a head. Now we know 22, some pay 23, it just varies, okay? The money is serious, guys. So you go right 100 heads at 20 bucks a head, what are you making? Quick math, 20 grand. 20,000, it's, it's, almost, it's almost the same amount of money on Medicare. But on Medicare, if you're lucky, how many will you write at one appointment? Zero. Two. If you're lucky. On, a, on an ACA, you may write the whole household. Mom, dad, three kids, two kids, whatever. And guess what? Usually, they don't know ACA agents. Nobody markets this, this product. It's so new. You can start getting their sisters and their brothers. and you, I mean, it's just become, th this is our incredible referral machine. All right, so we already know this. Okay, here are the enrollment seasons. Open enrollment's about to start, guys. Right now, if you're not doing it, you're gonna wanna get contracted, okay? Open enrollment starts November the 1st. All right, it's gonna end December, or January the 15th. I will tell you, from December the 15th to January, it's super slow. The public is already set on November the 1st to December the 15th. We've had eight years of that. Obama, uh, 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 Biden extended this. Okay, so that last month, I don't do very much. But between the 45 days, I am rolling and I'm proving it to you. You're like, oh, you're full of crap. I, I know you're thinking that, bro. There's no way I can do that and enroll a couple of hundred Medicare's and run a PNC agency and help all of you guys. I've got proof. I'll get to the proof here in a minute. Guys, outside of the open enrollment, we have special elections just like Medicare, okay? Loss of coverage, this is the trick of the game right now. Right now, you can go and write a policy and put that they lost coverage. The other Luis, do we need proof? Do we need proof for loss of coverage right now? No. Negative. So everybody lost coverage. All right. Why? Democratic product, Democratic administration. They want this thing to grow. This is the finger to Trump from Biden. And I'll ask you, that's what I think. And it's a great, I love that finger. Not, be, not politically wise, not political. I don't, not, not only because it allows me to write a heck of a lot of ACA policies. Okay, that's why. It's open enrollment. Okay, so loss of coverage is right now the biggest. There are some other ones. They moved, so they lost coverage. Uh, they gained citizenship. I'm on the border. Okay, Texas, Mexico. We got a lot of customers that are gaining citizenship. If they're a resident, I can write them. All right, I helped a felon get insurance. Guess what? He's got a lot of other buddies that are felons. They're not supposed to hang around each other, but they do. And uh, they help each other out. So. I started getting a bunch of people getting released from jail. That creates an open enrollment. All right, also, I get, I helped uh, uh, immigrant, uh, not immigrants, asylees, Cubans. I helped one Cuban, oh geez, he brought the, he brought the whole freaking island. I mean, I was, I was a party, come on baby, bring them. And it's like, in Puerto Ricans, you know, hey, I can't, I speak Spanish, but those guys can, ooh, they're quick. Um, I helped one out and they're like, hey, can you help out this person? I'm like, yeah, bring them. I mean, they were just bringing them. Also, I will tell you, um, I got started helping Patel Simbarcas. Patel Simbarcas. I have a lot of hotels that I insure. And 
who works at the hotels? Low, you know, the, 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 the cleaning staff, they don't make a lot of money. Prime target for ACA. ACA is a low income product. So I, I, you, you have one Patel, one Barca, they're, they're the ones that primarily own hotels, at least in my area. And so you help one out and guess what? They will send you their brother that owns another hotel and the other brother that owns the other hotel. My first two years of ACA, I was from one hotel to one hotel to one hotel. I didn't come home for about a month. My only thing I told them was like, look, call my room. Take care of my room, I need two days. I can do 30 to 40 enrollments in two days. And so I'd go do a presentation to a group and then I would give them my intake forms, fill them out, because who has their socials that work for their kids? They don't. They'd come back and I would enroll them all day long. It's huge. All right, so I got some hot off the press. Well, this was hot off the press, but it's still going on right now. Okay, this is the income chart. Guess what? I, I gave you guys a Medicare smart book, so I also created an ACA smart book. Okay, you need this income chart. It just, okay, I've already updated it. This is the 2022 book, 2022 chart that we're gonna use for 2023 enrollments. It's always a year behind. If the, the, um, if the prospect that you're dealing with is in the yellow, okay, it's a house, it's just mom, dad, and two kids, so it's a household of four. If they make 41,000, I have a low income SCP to write them. That's a lot of people that, that, that you think, that's no way. There's a ton of people that make that kind of money. Okay, all right. Now, if they're outside of this 150, I can't use a low-income SEP, so what do you think I use? Loss of coverage. Okay, this is what I will tell you, agent to agent. Don't lie for them, tell them to lie to you. Does that make sense? I'll coach them. I can't lie for you, but if you tell me you lost coverage, that's what I'll put. So, shoot me an email, that's it. Let me know, like, hey, you lost coverage. I don't care who you lost it with, just when did you lose it? Well, when do you want me to say you lost it? July 31st, perfect. Shoot me an email with that, we're good. I'm in the clear. I didn't lie for him, he just told me. Okay, hey, that's the way to do it. You always have him shoot an email? Email or text. Email or text. If I get a text, I'll print the text out and put it into the management system. Boom. I have proof. I don't wanna get in trouble, I make too much money on this thing. All right, so this income chart, guys, it's part of the smart book. It's on my desktop. It's, my, it's on my desktop, okay? Because I'm writing ACA policies. We're doing about 40 a week right now. Yeah, huge. Okay, this is incredible. I got to use this chart because I got to figure out how I'm going to get you in. Now, there's a cliff. Think of this as a, as a mountain. If you're below or above, you're screwed. You can still get ACA. Income does not determine whether you get a policy or not. This income chart is for subsidies, for the assistance. If you make too much money, you don't get any help. If you make too little money, you don't get any help, but in some states, you could qualify for Medicaid. All right, some states. Texas, we didn't expand Medicaid. Those people with that lower income are completely screwed. All right, check this out, guys. So during the enrollment season, you think I'm full of crap with five to 700? I pull a couple of hundred uh, leads from this. Where do you think this is at? Flea market. Flea market. Who hangs out at flea markets? Low income people. I mean, shoot. I'm not gonna go to Whole Foods and put a booth there. <laughs> you know, you know, that's, Whole Foods is expensive, all right? So don't be going to Whole Foods and setting up a booth for Obamacare. You know, you're like, nobody's going to get near you. But I, I set this up at the beginning of November. I'm there Saturdays and Sundays from 7 to 1 o'clock, religiously. And I have no competition. There's about five other guys in the, in the whole complex, and all they're doing is Medicare. I now have to take my staff there because I just I can't keep up. So I sit back there. I do my thing. Say again? What if you don't speak Spanish? Where's the what? What if you don't speak Spanish? Is that That's a problem. Hire somebody who does. Yeah, because you're going to find a lot of Spanish speakers at the flea markets. So, yes. Yeah, that, that is a problem. But in, in my agency, I don't even talk. You're not even a prospect to work for my agency if you can't speak Spanish. I just got one. I don't have a choice, and that's my brother-in-law. 
I'm like, damn. Yes. On the spot. Hell yeah, I did. Right there on the spot. We got Wi-Fi. I got it set up. I got my iPad. I got my laptop. My people have their devices right away. What about kids' socials? Well, if I don't have everything, I, then I got to revisit. Okay, but you did the best you can with what you got. Yes. I mean, of course, sometimes you got three kids. They're not going to have socials. So I have to come back. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Yes, ma'am. So we could just hire somebody up to, to speak Spanish. They wouldn't have to be licensed, right? To well, are they going to translate or are they going to enroll? They're, they're just going to translate. They're going to translate. You don't need. But if they're going to enroll, I'm going to show you what you can do. This is beautiful. Okay. It's hard for me to write 700 apps, but I'm going to show you how it's done. All right. So where do you go find prospects? So right now, guys, your existing Bob. Anybody know what Bob is? Your book of business. Okay. Call your book of business. Hey, I'm doing ACA now. I'm doing Obamacare. You need to come see me. I already have it. I don't care. I'm going to be your agent. Show that authority. I'm going to take care of you. So you work your existing book. All right. What about all your leads, guys? I'm sure you all are saving them, right? You're paying good money for leads. Start revisiting your old leads and your new ones. I already told you about PNC, guys. Those suckers are, they suck. Those guys are one laners. They would do PNC, they do not want to get out of PNC. So go hit them up, make a deal with them. Hey, for every one that I roll, I'll give you 50 bucks. Let me call on your behalf. This is what you do. You get to a PNC agency, I want to, you're talking to the owner, here's what I'm gonna do, PNC owner. Let me sell your people Obamacare, maybe Medicare. I'm gonna pay you, okay? But I'm gonna call on your behalf. Hey, this is Luis, I'm calling from the John Smith agency. John asked me to give you a call. He wanted me to tell you that he loves you. Thank you so much for your business with this agency. Can I help you with something? No. Okay, well, great. Well, let me tell you what I do. Here at the John Smith Insurance Agency, we are now selling Obamacare. We're doing health insurance now. So John wants you to come see me. So can you come by and see me tomorrow? Or whatever. You know, that's how you do the pitch. And then what I would tell the insurance agent, the agency owners, look, I'm going to sell them Obamacare, but if I uncover anything, I'm going to put it on your desk. I have a quota with farmers to meet for life insurance. So if me and her are talking and I find out you have life insurance, no, oh my God, I'm going to get you with John right now. Take that prospect to John or tell John, John, I got her. She needs life insurance. John is going to love you because first of all, he's not paying for you, your, 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 your free help. But now you're putting prospects on his desk? Oh, hell yeah. Okay? So how do you start with PNC guys? Go talk to your current PNC guy. Make an appointment with him. Okay, after you do that, then start knocking on PNC doors. Uh, how about this one? You go network with your CPAs. Who does your taxes? You guys are business people. I hope you're not doing your own taxes. You suck. I mean, you're not a CPA. If you are, great. I can't do my own taxes. I know a lot about taxes. I can't do them. I have a CPA that knocks them out. Okay? But go talk to CPAs. Go talk to tax preparers at H&R Block and Liberty Tax. Go talk to those guys. Guess what you can do for them? What, what, what can we agents do for those tax preparers besides give them a $50 referral fee? Oh, we can refer on business, but there's something that they need to complete the taxes. Well, yeah, but they need something to complete they need the. Proof that you have coverage, so you don't get penalized. No, that, that's that's what Trump dismantled. Uh, that was the individual mandate, so he did away with that. So a couple years ago, that went away. But to complete taxes, you need to submit a 1095. There's a form that that needs to be submitted. Guess how many clients have that? I mean, uh, Health and Human Services sends those to everybody, but of course they don't have it. So when it's tax time, they have to show it. Okay, so you can help tax preparers get that. Super easy, all you need is their name and their date of birth. And you can get that form for them. I already showed you this one, you can do the open air flea markets. Back to the flea market, are you just doing that in that 45 day period, are you doing it all year long? No, I tried all day, I can't. I with three kids and a wife and a dog. Just the 45 day period? Just the open enrollment. Okay. Yep, and, but the, the, the big thing is that people lose interest. 
you know, outside of the, the open enrollment, nobody really is talking about healthcare. So you're probably wondering, how am I writing 40 a week? I'll show you, I'll share with that here in a minute. How about networking with your doctor? Go to your doc, okay, start talking to them. Find out, here's what I did. Uh, I was getting a shot in my butt, and I had an agent call me, and I, I took the phone call while he's doing what he's doing, and, uh, and, the, and I, I hang up with the agent. It was you, Lu no, no, it wasn't. It was you, Luis, I think. Did I tell you, you anyway, the doctor asked me, you see, yeah, <laughs> sorry. The doctor asked me, uh, hey, do you sell health insurance? And I'm like, yes, I do, and he's like, when we get done, we need to go over here. So he took me to, the, to his girl who handles the insurance. I'm like, hey, we need to send him all the clients. What was happening is his clients were enrolling with some companies that he wasn't in network in. So guess what was happening to that doctor? Is a doctor a doctor or is a doctor a businessman? He's a businessman. He's in the business of making money by treating patients, but he was losing patients. So I found out what carriers he's got. I'm like, dude, I'll take care of you. Every single one of them, I know what plans I got to keep them in. You can also network with your dentist, okay? That's another way to get out there and get prospects. And then there's free leads, guys. Who wants free leads? All right, I get about 50 of these a year. You know, nothing to scream about. I know agents that get a couple of hundred of these a year. Okay, you go register with this help on demand. Okay, what it is, is when somebody tries to enroll themselves on healthcare.gov and they realize how hard it is, there's a help button and then they get routed to you based on the zip code, and it's free. Only problem is there's a 15 minute limit. When you get that notice, you have 15 minutes to claim it or you lose it. Hey, Luis. Yes, sir. I got my first call like that uh, about a week ago. And they're freebies. Yeah, this, uh, I got a text and an email, it was Monday morning, and I went down and it's like the first one, uh, I forget exactly what it says, Walk in, check this box, and so I called her uh, five minutes later, and just easy peasy, just smooth as can be, just moved back to Chattanooga, SEP. I ended up knowing her family even, and so just I mean it was just a perfect, easy sale. Super easy, guys. I call, hey, healthcare.gov. I work with them. Remember, this is not Medicare. All right, there's no rules. This is a wild west. Okay, there is no marketing rules. Hey, healthcare.gov. Just let me know that you want help. I'm here to help you. I need your name and date of birth. I pull them up. I redo their app. Okay, and then I, that way I can embed my NPN, and then I go find them a plan. Super easy to do. Okay. What do you call that healthcare plan? The what again? What do you call it? Hel healthcare.gov. Oh, the, the, this thing is called Help on Demand. All right, so there's some more stuff, guys. There is uh, this one, yeah, this one's mine. Um, this is another agent. Um, just, you know, they're just, she's doing a community event at church. Okay, very, very doable, guys. You gotta get out there. All right, here's the secret. Okay, how do I, am I writing 40 a week right now? The 40 a week are coming from Facebook leads. But you better be quick. I have a hell of a system. Okay, so I have a CRM, all of my Facebook leads, and you're, you're not going to believe me. In fact, the lady who helps me with this, she goes, don't tell them this, but I'm going to do it anyway. Okay, we're putting a course together. She's showing agents how to do this. I'm getting $7 Facebook leads right now. Okay, that's my average. And the Facebook lead comes, it goes straight into my CRM, which I'll share with you guys. The CRM has a workflow. It does a bunch of things. The first thing it does, it sends me and my two people in my office a text message. Hey, and it's literally, because it's an internal notification. Hey, dumbasses, wake up, you got a lead. Yes, because it's going to me and my two guys. All right? It's an internal notification. Then it sends me an email. Hey, wake up, you got a lead, go make some money. Remember, it's an internal notification. We all get that, okay? So then, immediately after that, it sends the customer a text and an email. Hey, thank you for, apply, or, or for requesting information from Facebook on health insurance. By the way, here's a picture of my agency, we're real, here's the number I'm gonna call you from, and then it sends them a text too. Then I have a 10 minute window where we're supposed to call. 
10 minutes after that, we, do, we send them some more stuff. I pound them 10, I send them 10 emails, 10 text messages over the course of 15 days. And then after that, it goes to a dead lead campaign where I hit them up once a month. And I don't do any work. The initial work was on that, creating that workflow. Yes, sir? Super secret one. <laughs> I can't tell you, you're going to take away business. It's coming, man. It's coming. Hold on here. I got 15 minutes. All right. There are some of my ads. Yes, sir. Real quick, did you build those campaigns? Or was I don't know what I'm doing, bro. I got a kid. Not my kid, but I got a kid, a young guy, a little whippersnapper. And he doesn't know what he's doing either. But he's really good at creating some pictures. Okay, so he does this. Yeah, we, we were getting leads 15 to 18 bucks and I was happy. So think about it, guys. If I get a $20 lead and I make $20 a month commission times 12, that's 250. How many leads do I have to close to break even? One out of how many? 12. One out of 20. Uh, yes, one out of 12. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's not bad. Now, if I get two heads, even better. Yeah. Now, at $7, one out of 20, I got a lot of room. So here are some of my ads. I'll put those out there. People are clicking on them. Yes, ma'am. Will this um, Facebook training be available? Yes, we're going to put it out. I want you guys to email me. We're, we're putting a little wait list and then we're going to put a training out. Okay. Okay. The training will also come with the CRM workflow because it's good to get a lead and it's great, but what are you going to do with it? Okay, you got to nurture that lead. That's what the CRM does. Here are some more pictures. Okay, we just, this guy goes nuts. Every day he's creating pictures. All right, and, and we're, not, we're also doing sponsored ads, but we're also doing posts. There's a difference. Okay, a post is just a post, but we're making ourselves look good. He's on Facebook all the time. That's that little kid there. He goes on here and he does this. All right, so here's what he did. 10 minutes, okay, got it. So take that number down. He put this little deal together. He's a little entrepreneur. I'm like, all right, I don't have a problem. He's creating all this content. He's put it into a folder. Text him, that's his cell number. Put branding on there and he'll hook you up. He also came up with this little Facebook little thing. All, this, this guy is writing about 30K a month in, 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 in premium. And he does 20, 25 policies a month just from his little Facebook scheme that he came up with. Really, really neat. All right, that's, that's his little book that he came up with. I don't really know what he's doing, but he's writing a lot of policies. 22-year-old kid, and he is on it with this little generate leads. I mean, he is, yeah, he's killing it. I wish I was making that kind of money when I was his age. All right, so here's the other deal. So there's me at, the, at my booth. Um, the other thing, okay, remember I told you all that it's hard to quote, it's expensive, it doesn't pay commissions, the quoting, everything sucks about ACA. Tell your colleagues that and just tell them to send you the business. Okay, write it for them. There's a ton of people that don't want to do this, guys. A ton of them. So team up with your colleagues. All right, all those goodies that you saw there, if you want to, I think that QR code works. She, she knew what she was doing. Um, but if you want to take a picture of that or her email, we created all that, and I'd, I've already given her permission to share it with you guys, so you all don't have to reinvent the wheel. If you want to take that to your local printer, I don't care. I don't have any affiliation with her other than she is the sister of, a, of an agent who sends me a lot of business. So she's got this tablecloth. It's reversible. Obamacare on one side, uh, Medicare on the other side. Um, I use these A-frames a lot. I put these in my office. Oh, and yard signs, Matt, yard signs, dude. Matt, he doesn't have much to do. So he went around the city, he started putting signs up, okay? Sta you know, stapling them up to the, uh, to the phone post, okay? Man, we started getting leads from that. Uh, we got these rat cards. The business cards are here too. I, I love my business cards. Let me add something too. I actually put my signs up for Medicare, thinking I'd get Medicare business, and I started getting a lot more ACA calls. For some reason, nothing on there today. So she ships all over the country. You got it? 
All right, last, I got about five minutes left. I'm gonna hit the CRM. I'm not gonna leave you hanging with that. Okay, guys, so bonuses. Remember, I screwed up. Don't tell your spouses about the bonuses if you wanna keep it. So for, from what I know right now, every carrier is gonna keep the bonus or make it sweeter. These are the bonuses for the 2022 OEP. So Aetna, look at them. From one to nine, they gave you nothing. 10 to 24, they paid you $25 a head. A head, okay? You write 50 heads, $75 bonus for 50. What's 50 times 75? Well, let's just make it easy, 100. You write 100 of them, you get $7,500 bonus. No cap. United, this is the one I screwed up with. We did over 600 United heads. Look at the bonus. That's where my Escalade money went. It's supposed to be all mine, okay? So 50 heads, $100. That's 5,000. 150 heads, $150 bonus. So you write 100 heads, that's 15,000, guys. You write 20 heads, that's 30K. 400 heads, that's $60,000 in bonuses. We're not talking about commissions. Guys, this, I'm not making this crap up. This is, well, yes. They started small, so, so they haven't confirmed what's gonna happen next year. This is 2022 but they have told me they're gonna be the same or better. But you get the bonus, what she's asking is, do you just get the bonus the year you write it or you get the bonus every year? So you write it? No, no, you write it. So open enrollment starts in November. Right. I write it. They need to stay on the books for three months. January, February, March. Then they start doing their calculations, how many you had, and then they'll pay out the bonus in July, or June or July. Got it. One time. One time. The next year, you rewrite them again, get another bonus. You flip them to another company. Most of these guys have retention bonuses too. Oscar was really, really good. I had a good sized book with Oscar. So they were paying not only for new business, but for the ones that you maintain. We got about 500 with Oscar. Look at that bonus. Hey, you mentioned retention. What's the retention? Pretty good. Well, here's the deal. I get, I get this from agents. Oh, this organization stole my business. Who cares? Keep writing. It's a numbers game. You can't control. That if they give their name and date of birth to somebody else, it's gone. And guess what? You're still in their business. Yeah, you're doing it too when you're writing them up. So retention for me, on average, I would say I'm at about 20%. But I tell them, I warn them, hey, don't be giving your name and phone number. Somebody else is going to write you. And, and, and I don't think they're going to do the job that I did. They're not going to check your docs. They're not going to check your meds. They're not going to make sure that you're on the right plan. So I warn them. Are you talking about 20% follow-up? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's not bad. Not bad. Still making a ton of money. Yeah. Okay. Who is she? You were saying that's the bonus money. Is there money other than that money? Are you going to refer them to me or are you going to write them yourself? No, I would write them myself. Uh huh. Damn. Okay. Okay. In that case, then yes, there's money. We get about twenty to twenty-five dollars, depending on the time, the year, the the county, the carrier, per member, per head. This is bonus money. Yeah, it's, it's both guys. It's not one or the other. It's bonus. You still make, the, you still make your commissions, 20 something dollars per member per month on top of this bonus. I know you guys are looking at me like it can't be. I, I didn't make this up, guys. Wait, how long what? You're going to get paid as earned as long as they're with you. Okay, but the bonus, they have to be with you for three months. Okay, and then on, after they do that, they calculate and they pay out the bonus June or July. Yes? You just mentioned about checking their doctors and their meds. Before you said you just typed the stuff in and maybe they're gone. So how, when do you check your doctors? Yes, yes. So the software, guys, that we give you all, it was a good question. How do you check the docs and meds? That software package that you get from us, there's a button that says add or check, check meds, check doctors. You can manually click them and it'll take you to that carrier's page to do the search. Or they just developed this for this year. There's a little search feature. Over here, you go plug in the doctors, you plug in the meds. When you do those comparisons, it'll tell you in there whether they're in network or out and if the medications are covered and what the copays are. It does it all for you. Why can we knock these out in 12 minutes, Matt? It's freaking easy. And here's the deal. With, with ACA, it's not as important to check the doctors and meds as it is in Medicare.
Medicare, your your ACA, they're young people. Sometimes they don't even care. Yes, ma'am. So ACA pays out monthly or every quarter? Uh, monthly, as earned. Bonuses come in June or July, one time. Yes, ma'am. Underwriting? Underwriting. Matt. None. No health questions. What? You can't even ask health questions. You don't care. There's no health questions. It's guaranteed. It's guaranteed issue. There's no other. All ACA is guaranteed issue. All ACA cannot be underwritten. It has to include pregnancy. It has to include health benefits. Luis, come here, please. Thank you. I need a few more minutes. David, por favor. Luis, come back up. All right. Okay, so here's the deal. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask Luis a question. Okay. He's the other Luis. There's two Luises here. You know that, right? Now you do. All right. Luis, how long have you been an ACA agent? Uh, about four months. Okay, four months. You got how many in the books? About 100. Tell them how hard it is as a new agent. It's super easy. I mean, everybody, you know, these insurance, there's so many, there's so many people out there that uh, don't have a low income. Uh, it's super easy to sign people up. It takes literally 10 minutes. I mean, I did three yesterday on referrals. It was even working yesterday. I got three referral calls. I up in 10 minutes each. Um, so it's it's been super easy for me. Uh, and I really haven't done much. I've been on and off a little bit with some Facebook marketing. Um, and, you know, I set up a little bit of a, of a referral program. I'm telling people when I sign them up. Um, I tell it to them on the phone. I email it to them when I send them the summary benefits. And I text them. 25 bucks a head if you, for a referral that I sign up. And literally, I, did, I started doing that a week and a half ago, and I got 10 so far of those $25 referrals. So, I mean, and it's a referral machine. I mean, people, I'm telling you, I like one person that gave me five. Um, and I, I, have, I, got, I got a text earlier today for a new one. So, you know, that's, it's, to me, it's super easy. And I've done Medicare, and Medicare is great. And, but I will tell you that the referral is definitely easier in ACA. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So in addition to ACA money, in addition to bonus money, you can do life insurance at that time. You can go write a 10, 20 year term in a heartbeat, simplified issue, get it over with. Know if they're going to get uh, approved here immediately without medical. But ACA does not cover dental and vision. So guess what you offer? Dental and vision. Offer dental and vision is a piece of cake. So the other thing, now I would recommend this. Go through your upline and request emeritus. This is a dental carrier that I use. I love it because I have an enrollment, uh, a, a PURL. I send it to my customers. You do it. Or if I actually have to do it, it takes me a whopping two minutes, okay? It, it doesn't pay very well, but it's a volume game. And let, me, let me say this What's too, the PURL? Uh, about personalized link. Okay, it is super easy. Uh, as far as ACA, we just really started not long ago. Uh, on the map now with a lot of uh, the carriers. Number one with one carrier, number seven with another carrier, and we get so many calls coming in, uh, or I should say calls coming in, messages that they want to, can you add dental to this? So it's starting to happen, um, and it's an easy, it's an easy add-on, and it, like we said earlier, it's another hook, you know? So it's, it's very profitable. And I got one more hook. Is this face-to-face -face with telesales? All telesales for me. All telesales? Oh, yeah. Okay, and then the other hook that I put on them, and this is what I would highly recommend, go get National General. Okay, here's why. When you write an ACA plan, there is an out-of-pocket just like in Medicare. Okay, with ACA, with this National General, you can add an accident plan that will cover that out-of-pocket. You can add a sickness plan. So here's what I tell, I quote, this is the way I do it. I know what my quote for the medical is going to be. I'll go run the dental, I'll go run this. Okay. And then what I do is I present an entire package. Hey, here's what I've done for you. Your rate for this package is 110 bucks, and here's what it includes. Because if I give him that first rate for 12 bucks, that's what he's gonna fixate on. It's gonna be hard for me to upsell dental and vision, and it's gonna be hard for me to upsell this. The accident plan, if they get in an accident, it pays them a dollar amount. I match it up exactly to the out-of-pocket. The sickness, if they are hospitalized due to a sickness, it gives them a dollar amount. All I'm doing is I'm indemnifying them for those costs. Easy to do. Luis, you know, we all understand the compliance with uh, Medicare. What's the compliance like with ACA? You can chase them down. You can door knock. You whatever. 
You know, I, I'm at the I'm at a retail store. You can chase mama down the aisle. Hey, you walk with them with it, with Medicare. They need to come to you. ACA is game. It's wide on, wide open. All right, last thing, last thing. Remember I told you about that magical turning 65 list that does not exist anywhere. This is it. You create your own turning 65 list. Okay, this is your list. You can use our software, which is, you can use our software to export, goes to an Excel. You find all your people that are 64, you start calling them. They already trust you. So there's the magical turning 65 list. I think I'm done, David. Hold on here. All right. Okay, here we go. I wanted to prove myself. All right, you guys think I'm full of uh, whatever. So every year, for the last three years, they've given awards to agencies who actually produce. There's a lot of gurus out there. Go check their licenses. I've been selling ACA for 30 years. Well, dumbass, it just started eight years ago, really? And then on top of that, I've been an agent helping thousands of agents for years. Go pull their license and see how long they've really been an agent. Okay, so this is what, when somebody tells you, oh, I've written a thousand apps, show me your badge. There it is, guys. Every single agent gets this. So there's three of them. When you write 20, when you write 100, or when you write more than 500. So we got it in 2021. No, that's 20. That's 2022, 2021. No, whatever. I can't read it right now. So we, we've got them for the last three years, guys. So they send you a little marketing kit that you can, that you can use. What? What's that again? That's 500 during the open enrollment. Okay, so here's the deal. When you partner up with us, guys, we have trainings too. Remember I told you Medicare was Tuesday and Thursdays? I do ACA on Wednesdays. In four weeks, guys, I'll get you selling. I have an online course if you want that too. All right? You want to get certified for ACA? Talk to your upline. Get with David. I don't want to contract agents. You guys get with David. You get everything that I have. Okay, all my training. You get my smart book. You get everything. Certifications, super easy. I have a walkthrough. This is a government site. It is super hard to navigate it, so I created a walkthrough. And the CRM that I use is this one. Okay, that's, uh, I haven't, I, I didn't get a chance to put it together, but here's the deal. Use that link, take a picture of it, uh, or email me and I'll send it to you. They'll give you like a 14 day free trial. And th this is what it does, guys. It's an email marketer, a text marketer. Um, you can do online bookings with Calendly on there. Um, it, it's got a pipeline. Okay, I love my pipeline. I got so many leads, I don't know how to track them. Well, this is like a big board with stickies on it. And I can grab them and move them. You know, I have different pipelines. It's, it's a power dialer, it's Zapier. You're like, what the hell is that? Well, if you don't, I'll share with that. But everything is in there. And then if you go through me, Yes, I get a little referral, disclosure. I get a whole whopping 40 bucks one time for the referral. But I will give you my workflows. Everything that we develop, when they, you sign up using that, they automatically dump that into yours. So you can play with it. And you just got to change your names on it. Um, but it's $47 a month. That's it. It's, a, it's cheap. I go to McDonald's, I'm at 50 bucks with my kids. This is one time, oh, $47 a month. All right. This is what my pipeline looks like. Okay, so I wanted to give you guys a picture. Take a look at this. A new lead comes in, they go here. I grab them when, if I've, if I've called them and, 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 and this is automatic, I can grab this person and move them over here when I've, uh, when I've got their information. When I send a quote, I move them over here. If I sell them, I move them here. Did they pay? If they did, I move them over here. Do they need documents? I move them over here. And I've got more. Every time I move them to a different stage, I got things that happen. When they move to the dental, I send them an email. Hey, your policy doesn't cover dental. Click here to quote your dental and vision. I have so many enrollments from dental and vision, I don't know where they're coming from. My checks are getting great, okay? Uh, I have one for the National General, okay? And then I do the, the referral. I have all these workflows built out. It looks like I'm a mean marketing machine, but it just took me a little while to create it. You get all that if you use that link. So that's what I use, Agent CRM. It's not the best, okay? It's just the one that I use. All right, I'm getting like, get the hell out of here. So guys, I hope you wanna do ACA. Um, it's a lot of money in it, guys, a lot of money. We can help you out. 
I'm not the guy that, you know, I'm not the, uh, the uh, there's a lot of guys wanting to teach ACA, but nobody has these kind of numbers. So I'm going to teach you everything that I've done to create those numbers.